Thank you, Anna V. 632 now. This breaking news this morning. A man is dead after an officer involved shooting in southeast Houston. Yeah, Houston police tell us three officers responded to a call about a man with a gun, but when they found the suspect, they say he refused to listen to their commands. We want to get right to Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez, who was at that scene. Kathy, what happened that led up to these officers opening fire? Well, that's what you said there. The man refused to put the gun down after they asked him multiple times, they say, and that happened before the shooting. Take a look behind me. Most officers have left the scene now, but they still have this single home blocked off now. No word on how it's connected to the shooting. Detectives and the district attorney's office are once again looking into an HPD officer shooting. It's the sixth one in the last month. It's just a tragic uh, scene all the way around. Investigators say someone called 911 to Capridge near Goodridge at about 1.30 this morning. Officers found a 38-year-old man with a gun who they say had been drinking and was emotional. Officers gave him commands to drop the gun. Suspect um, disobeyed the commands, fired several times in the ground. Investigators say the officers continued to ask the man to put his weapon down, but instead he pointed the gun toward officers. They say the officers fired, killing the man. This is the sixth Houston police officer shooting since April 21st. They're very upset, very emotional. Nobody wants to shoot anybody. Executive Assistant Chief Finner asked for prayer, saying it's an especially tough time for everyone. I know a lot of people, you know, they're out of work. They're, they're, there's problems with relationships. And, you know, we just need prayer. And um, I'm, I'm just uh, asking for prayer for the officers and everybody in our community. Finner says the man's family was shaken by the shooting. We still have a lot of questions, though, including what happened before officers arrived here and who called police. Also, did police capture the shooting on dash camera or on body camera? Again, this is the sixth shooting in about a month regarding and involving Houston Police Department. We're working to get you more answers. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.